Hi, Dina. How are you? I'm great. I'm really excited for our pair programming session today. Yeah, development has really picked up here at Big Corp Limited since we started these sessions. Uh, what are we working on today, Dina? Well, it's kind of tricky and I'm not really sure how to do it. My manager wants to launch a private internal wiki on GCP. Ah, what do you mean? Well, she doesn't want it to be accessible from the public internet. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. Well, the tricky part is that she also wants our Cloud Function microservices to be able to write to the wiki. Ah, sounds like we need to set up a serverless VPC connector. We can host private applications, but like this wiki, uh, or even databases on virtual machines uh, or clusters in Google Compute Engine. And with a serverless VPC connector, we can connect to any of these private resources. All right, let's get back to the issue at hand, Dina. Uh, to start, uh, would you set up a private wiki in Google Compute Engine? OK, I'm ready. All right, uh, so if you click uh, on the uh, navigation menu there, exactly, and then uh, uh, click Marketplace and search for Media Wiki. And the one I usually use is the one uh, from, uh, yeah, Bitnami. That's the one, yeah. Okay. Let's set it up uh, as a public service. So this is all defaults throughout, uh, so we can test it. OK. OK. So we're just going to leave all of these just as they are and deploy. Very nice. So this will take a few minutes. Wow, that was easy. Yeah, uh, let's give it a minute. So the external IP address will start working. Uh, now, on the upper right there, you see it's a site address. That's the external IP address. Uh, so uh, paste that into your browser and test if we can see this MediaWiki in installation. OK. Hey, it works. Yeah, great. Now, let's update the network settings so that it no longer has a public IP address. Uh, so you can do that by clicking the navigation menu upper left and then go to Compute Engine and uh, click your virtual machine should show up here. Can you make the font a little bit bigger, Dina? Thank you. Uh, easier for me to see. So then scroll down to Network Interfaces. Okay. And uh, there it is. Okay. And uh, for that one, click uh, Nick Zero there. Um, oh, sorry. Click Edit at the top of the. Oh, okay. Go back. Yeah. Sorry, okay. I gave the wrong instructions. Yeah, now click the exact little pen there. And here it says external IP. We have an ephemeral IP address. So let's set this to none. OK. This means we won't be able to undone and then save at the bottom of the page. Very good. And uh, let's give that a minute uh, for the network change to take effect. So now we turned off the external ephemeral IP address. Uh, now check the uh, network address for that uh, media wiki again it's from the public internet. See if we can reach it. Looks like it doesn't exist anymore. Hmm. I'm going to try the private IP address. Oh, that's right. It has a private internal one as well. Yeah. Can I look at that one? Hmm. This one also doesn't work. Perfect. This is just what we wanted. So this MediaWiki instance still exists, but it's off of the public internet.
Uh, these network settings will work with any kind of private service or infrastructure that we might want to set up. Uh, this could now it's a media wiki, but it could be a mail server or say a MongoDB instance or something like it. Okay, now we're going to connect to it. So next we'll set up the connector. Would you go back to Cloud Console and uh, click that navigation menu and then go to VPC network and uh, serverless VPC connector. Perfect. And let's create a new uh, connector there at the top. OK. Mm, what settings should I use? Uh, let's go with the defaults. OK, I'm just going to copy this one that they give here. Um, mm -hmm. OK. <laughs> Excellent. Now we have a VPC connector that we can access from serverless. So for the final step, uh, let's set up a cloud function, which will use this VPC connector to access the media wiki. So, so uh, go to cloud functions. Okay, create a new function. That's, sounds good. Um, what kind of function should it be? Uh, let's uh, for now. Let's uh, go with the HTTP trigger type. So we will use the browser to trigger this function, and then this function will access the hidden media wiki server. Okay, sounds good. Um, uh, do I need to worry about any of these settings down here? Oh, right. Uh, uh, good thing you noticed. In the advanced sections, would you go to Connections uh, and select the new serverless connector that you just created? Cool. Yeah, and this will ensure that all traffic from the Cloud Function, all, all outbound network calls from this Cloud Function, will go through your this uh, private connector that you just set up. OK, so if it's using the private connection, that means it will be able to reach that private IP address for the wiki. Yep, that's correct. OK, cool. Um, well, then I'm going to put that private address into our function. I'm going to grab it from here. Uh huh. I'm going to deploy. Um, OK, so just to say what I just did, I put the private address into our function here. Um, and then we're going to trigger the function by accessing the URL, which will then call the REST API of the MediaWiki server using the private IP address. Right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's deploy the function. Uh, this will take a few minutes. Cool. Uh, so now let's test it. Uh, go to the HTTP trigger address of this function. And by doing that, you're calling the function, and the function in turn calls the wiki uh, REST API. It works! Huzzah! Oh, you were right. It wasn't so tricky after all. Another successful pair programming session for Big Corp Limited. At this rate, we're going to have to rename it Big Corp. Unlimited. <laughs> <laughs>